Suppose you were asked to plot or sketch the line y equals 3x plus 1. The best way to do this is to pick three or four coordinates on the x-axis, e.g. 0, 1, 2 and 3, which I'll write into the table above. And then I aim to find what the y-coordinate equals at each of these x-values. So, for example, when x equals 0, y equals 3 times 0, which is 0, plus 1 equals 1. When x equals 1, y will equal 3 times 1 plus 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 equals 4. If we keep on going, we're going to get 1, 4, 3 times 2 plus 1 is 7, 3 times 3 plus 1 is 10. Just a minor observation. If you pick x equals 0, you'll always get this number here for the y-coordinate. And also observe how the numbers go up by 3 each time. This links to the number before the x, the coefficient in that equation. Anyway, we can now plot these coordinates. So, x is 0, y is 1. x is 0, y equals 1. x is 1, y is 4. x is 1, y is 4. 2, 7. 2, 7. 3, 10. 3, 10. And these form a perfect straight line. So we get our ruler. Normally we would use a pencil here and just draw a line straight through those coordinates. y equals 3x plus 1. I just want to make two observations here. Now, where the graph cuts the y-axis, this value here, it's called the y-intercept. This value here of 1 always equals the number you add or subtract in the equation. So that number there is called the y-intercept. But also another observation. For every 1 across I go, this graph goes up by 3 across 1, up 3. And this number here is referred to as the gradient. Across 1, up 3, and the gradient is always given by the number before the x in the equation, the coefficient. So again, where the line cuts the y-axis is given by the y-intercept. For every one across we go, we go up 3. And this is given by the number before the x in the equation.